If you chose the first and second hunter when outside of their zones of fire, you are correct. As the bird flushed, our first hunter crossed his zone of fire into the zones of the other two hunters. His muzzle was pointed in the direction of the other two hunters. The second hunter swung out of his zone of fire and into the zone of the third hunter. His muzzle was pointed directly at the third hunter. Only the third hunter stayed in his zone of fire. Remember, when hunting with others, you need to be aware of your zone of fire at all times. The game you are hunting is unpredictable. You should always know where your partners are and be able to adjust your zone of fire accordingly. Now, let's take a look at the same scenario, only this time our hunters will follow safe firearm handling rules and stay within their appropriate zones of fire. Congratulations, you have made it through the Zones of Fire scenario of Hunt Day 3. Only one more to go. Click play to watch the scenario review again. Click next to move on to the next scenario. Alright, let's go on. With Kitchen Collectives. Our hunters are done for the day, and they are heading back to the truck. Let's see if they end the day safely. What did you see? Need to review this scenario again? Click the play button. Ready for your knowledge check? Click the next button.